Welcome back to Hammer Crash Course number seven. This is Sammy Chimone Hihi Aliubi. Uh, we're going to be jumping into lighting today and extending out our knowledge of how Viz, uh, certain types of blockers, solid block light and block light is going to work. All right, last uh, tutorial, we went ahead and added uh, ENV prefab, just in case you forgot. This is our environment afternoon prefab. Uh, that allows us to get a variety of different things. Uh, we added the NV sky last time. Now what I'm grabbing right here, uh, more than anything, is this sunlight. And we're going to go ahead and we're just going to use this default sunlight for right now. We'll, we'll mess around with it later. If I press F6, I can see how this sunlight is going to be affecting our map. Now, <clears throat> I, I see this shadow being cast right here on this skybox material, so press Shift O. And now you can see how it's accurately going to be represented. And this looks pretty amazing. Right? I, I, I admit Source does a great job of lighting, but there's some issues with this. And it's uh, because the lighting right here on the walls, for example, aren't casting shadows. And that's because these have back faces. Back faces do not block light. So this sun, and if you're looking at this, you can see the direction that it's pointing in. Uh, is casting light in that direction but no shadows are being cast that's because over here on this side there's nothing telling the shadow to stop and there is inside here if you take a look inside this is stopping the shadow but same issue over here no back faces which is fine because we wanted to make sure that we built it with the optimized workflow uh, but now we've got to go through and make sure that we use a little bit uh, of some of the tools to make sure that we block light and uh, make sure that we continue to work within how viz wants to be uh, operating <laughs> So uh, first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and switch back to a uh, Fulbright. Uh, I have an idea of exactly where I need to go ahead and create these uh, blocks. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure that uh, for right now, the selection tool is actually on block light, not solid block light. So over here, uh, type in block light. All right, grab that block light tool. And let's go ahead and let's begin uh, by taking uh, the back face over here and let's reconstruct it with this wall. Okay, this wall right here, if you haven't already made its own object, select its faces, press Alt N, okay? Press five to switch to object mode. Now I'm gonna press Shift F to mirror it and I'm drawing that mirror plane uh, so that on the opposite side, I have that wall and uh, if I switch back over here to uh, lighting mode, you'll notice now that I have this wall, it's going to create some shadows. You can see those shadows being created right there. Okay, if I hide it, press H, you'll see uh, those shadows are coming in. But this right here, uh, this can actually be optimized better. Let's turn this into a block light. Okay, these textures right here, the player's never going to see this. So right now, I'm making the engine calculate a bunch of textures that's never going to be seen. Let's go ahead and if we use block light instead, same thing occurs. It's going to block that light, but now I'm not wasting any light map space. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to just uh, take the top end of this and uh, press T. Let's go ahead and just make sure that it's uh, sealed off. All right, so I seal this off at the top as well. And okay, now I can see the shadows inside of here are starting to look much more accurate as they should be. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to continue through. I'm going to mimic that this is a thick wall that is all the way around our building for right now. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, continue through. I'm going to hold shift. Uh, we have now this side. Uh, just going to continue through. Now, it doesn't matter how these uh, faces work. Uh, I'm going to press F5 really quick. Um, I could actually combine these because uh, when it comes to N-Gons and it comes to Viz uh, materials, it doesn't really matter as much for it. And I say that uh, because I have some seen some crazy skyboxes made in the past, so we still want to try to avoid as much as possible when it comes to the uh, uh, Viz calculations. But as far as this goes, I'm just going to go ahead and combine those by pressing Backspace with the face selection tool. Now they're combined, it dissolves those edges. Yeah, I can go ahead, select the edges that I want and just make it one clean face all the way across. It's a little bit easier to manage. Uh, same thing here, hold down shift, extrude it out. And then uh, let's just go ahead and finish making nice little wall around the outer perimeter. And uh, now if I press F6, let's take a look. That is gonna create a shadow. Now I didn't, bring this wall all the way up here because if i do that you're going to see light starts to seep underneath so you are going to have to uh, when it comes to block lights uh, be creative making sure that that thickness that really represents it is there now i didn't want to build in blocks when it comes to this, I could have. I, I could definitely build in blocks, um, but I really don't need to have the block lights underneath. Uh, there's nothing that's shining up 
underneath this. Uh, if I build multiple levels, then I might have to do that later if the light starts to leak. Uh, but for right now, I'm not worrying about building any sort of block light underneath this as our sunlight is coming from above. And I don't want to force the engine uh, to try to uh, calculate something that's not existent. Uh, so now uh, let's finish this up uh, by going through this top part right here. This top part right here is never going to be seen. So let's switch to solid block light. Okay, what I mean by that is the player's going to come out and uh, I don't want them to see the roof. They're not going to see the roof ever. So once again, let's not use this space that we don't need. So hold down Alt, double click on a face, and uh, I'm going to go back into this mode. Press Shift T so that way I can apply the solid block light material. Now the difference between solid block light and regular, let's go in and let's pretend that we have a combine soldier here. Okay, I put a combine soldier here on the solid block light. The soldier will be able to run on top of it. They can throw grenades. The grenades will bounce on here. Uh, this is different than block light. If I put block light here, this soldier is going to fall right through. Okay, there's going to be no solidity at all, so we need to make sure that we understand the difference. Solid block light is a viz contributor, so it literally acts like there's something there, but it's going to save the engine from drawing it. Because if I press Shift O and I say, show me what's going to be drawn in the game, you'll notice it's invisible. Right? It's invisible to the player. They're, they're not going to see the actual texture, but it's going to allow us to, to once again save as much precious uh, CPU as we can. Okay, the final thing we have right here is this door frame. Okay, now this door frame, if I press H and I hide it, I also have textures here that aren't used. And I'll show you a better way to make the door frame later, but for right now, we could make this a solid block light. Okay? Or, here's what we could do. We can also use this last one, which is called a no draw. Okay, I'm going to actually put a no draw here. Now, the difference between no draw and solid block light is the following. No draw doesn't calculate shadows. So uh, when it comes to this, it's going to calculate viz. Okay, it's going to act like uh, there's going to be uh, something that needs to be uh, 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 physically there. So if the player comes and they bump into this, they, they won't be able to go through. Uh, but it's going to not calculate shadows. So at the, uh, the, the advantage of this is when you're using these and they're covered up by objects, such as this door frame, I don't, this door frame is already calculating shadows for me. Okay, so I don't want that to calculate shadows and then underneath it to calculate shadows as well if these are theoretically never going to see the light in the first place. So we're going to use no draw here because we don't care about the light. Solid block light up here because we do want solidity and we want it to calculate this. Same with no draw. Skybox is also calculating this. So notice we sealed everything off. And the final thing we have out here is a block light. So that way we can go ahead and try to keep this as uh, realistic as possible. Now over here, I've got light leaking through. Okay, so I can go ahead, uh, same idea as before. If I, if I really want to just go ahead and, and, and quickly, quickly solve this, okay, and, and, and you can be better about this later, I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to extend this block light out, grab the edge, pull this one out as well. I'm just going to cover up the areas that are being uh, affected by this light, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that come down here and I check I might need to pull this out a little bit more so then maybe I instead actually let's go down just make sure we seal it off okay perfect so we sealed that off and over here I could use a little bit more and now I have no shadows because that sunlight is coming through the back faces originally okay, even though I have a ceiling those back faces are showing but I put a block light not a solid block light because I don't care about visibility. Okay, this isn't anywhere the player is going to be. There's going to be no enemies running up here. I'm just saying don't calculate any shadows behind or calculate shadows. Don't cal you know let light through. And if I unhide this door frame, okay, I can see that now my level has lighting and it looks much, much better than before. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is a, another look into how Viz works. Uh, well, uh, please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.